Hey Pear, what if this was my voice? Would you be my friend if this was my permanent voice? Would you? 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 <laughs> no. Pip Pip, what's going on here? Huh? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm T. I'm visiting your fine country on holiday. Holiday? Today's a holiday? No, you see. I'm on holiday. Don't stand on Easter. It might crack. <laughs> he means he's on vacation. Vacation, yes. That's the word I'm looking for. Oh, I get it. You speak English wrong. <laughs> Ugh, don't even get me started on that. Uh-oh. Looks like tea's getting steamed. <laughs> And that's one of the things that I can do. Want to see another thing I can do? Maya, you are an obnoxious fellow, aren't you? Well, I'll be on my way then. Might one of you direct me to the loo? Loo? Sure, he's right over there. No! Somebody call for Lou? Oh, I believe there's been a misunderstanding. No misunderstanding at all. I'm Lou, short for lunatic. Lou's got a bunch of conspiracy theories. And I'm a tick, lunatic. I think we all get it. Let's move on. Thank goodness, yes. You're not from the government, are you? Are you? Is this because of the manifesto I published? That wasn't intended for Earthling's eyes. It's okay, Lou. He's not with the government. As a matter of fact, T was just leaping. <laughs> All right. Just so everyone knows, I'm on hunger strike until the UN acknowledges the existence of Area 53. Uh, don't you mean Area 51? Area 51 is a ruse to distract us from Area 53! Got it. Thanks, Lou. You can go back to your tinfoil tent now. He's just trying to find the bathroom. Oh, um, he's got to drain one. Got it. It's down past the sink. First door on the right. Splendid. Cheerio. Hey, yo. Somebody called for me? I beg your pardon? You called my name. I'm Cheerios. No, I was simply saying goodbye to these chaps. Hey, yo. I heard somebody wants to say goodbye to chaps. Good heavens. I said nothing of the sort. Really, I am merely attempting to find the loo. Ah, you're looking for loo. Lou's right over there. Stop directing attention to me! If they locate me, the aliens can hear my thoughts. Ah, when I say I'm looking for the Lou, it means I need to use the bathroom. Dear Lord, anybody who tries to use Lou as a bathroom is gonna get an antenna where the sun don't shine. I do apologize. It was my intention to merely pop in for a chat, not to create such a stir. Yes, I'm afraid I've created quite a stir. And I do apologize. No! Stir! Huh? Ah! 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 T, are you okay? Uh, I'll be fine. Despite its unpleasantness, this is rather a common occurrence for me. You're really taking your lumps. <laughs> in indeed. The process leaves me temporarily loopy is all. I I'll be good as new in a moment. Now, off to find this bathroom of yours. Toodaloo. Was this about two loos? Have you seen another loo walking around? No, I was merely trying to- I knew it. I knew those aliens cloned me. My psychiatrist doesn't believe me, but I remember everything. Oh, everything. Lou, do us a favor. Never bother us again. Yeah, Lou, stop bugging us. Your colonoscopy given mother. Mm. Maybe you should rest here a while, T. You look kind of dizzy. Oh, would that I could, but once the humans start stirring me and adding lumps of sugar, it can only mean one thing. Tea time? I believe we understand one another completely. You do have tea time in America, do you not? We do, but I don't think it is what you think it is. Oh, what does tea time mean to an American, might I ask? That. Huh? Good time on holiday. <laughs> this doesn't even make any sense. I mean, who eats a cup of tea with a golf club? I've been saying that for years, man. Nothing adds up. You know what I think it is? Aliens? Aliens, precisely. Aliens are behind every single thing. Now, why does this happen every time? Aliens! Hello? Are you seeing this? Call the UN. The truth is out there. The truth is out there. <laughs> I think I almost got it! What's going on? I'm just trying to learn how to whistle. I'm rooting against him. As am I. Can you imagine how he'll terrorize the kitchen if he figures it out? One more try! Oh. Whoa, that was weird. Is that what whistling's supposed to sound like? Oh, oh it was corn. For a second, I couldn't believe my ears. <laughs> Get it? Corn ears? Yes, yes, we're all laughing super hard about it, Orange. It's a joke! <laughs> more importantly, 
Why are you glowing green, dude? Look, I know this is gonna sound crazy. Did somebody say I know this is gonna sound crazy? Oh, great. You summoned Lou. Go on. Someone was about to say something was supposedly crazy. I was trying to do air quotes there, but I don't have fingers. Imagine I did, though, to emphasize my disdain for the word crazy. Now, please, go on. Well, there are weird patterns and knockdown corn stalks out in the field. Me and my friends, well, we kind of think they might be crop circles. Oh, like, say, from aliens? Whoa, did someone say aliens? Great, and now we've summoned Crackpot. Whoa, what's up, Lou? How you been, man? I haven't seen you since the convention about how the moon is like a hoax. Um, I think you mean the moon landing? Um, no, I mean the moon. Think about it, sheeple. How does it stay up in the air like that? Wires, that's how. The same wires the government uses to tap our phones and our toilets. Oh, good lord. I don't know if I can handle two of them. What was that? You can't handle a double dose of the truth? Well, I feel sorry for you, pal, because you ain't nothing but a sheep. Bah, for me, sheep. Bah. Bah. Orange, why are you barring? I don't know. Seems fun. I think I'll go do literally anything else than have a conversation with these two nutsos. That's it. Go on. Run away from the truth. Secret societies control the world! Aw, oh, come on, Fruits. This affects all of us. Tupac is still very much alive! All I want is for somebody to love me. What? Hmm? But you just said... What? No, no, I didn't. So tell me more about these crop circles. Let's see photos. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Notice the concentric circles here on the edge. You thinking what I'm thinking? Sure am. These aliens are definitely from the Sculptor galaxy. What do you think, Corn? Is there even a kernel of truth to their theories? <laughs> hey, guys! What's all the yelling about? Wait, why do you reek of corn? Hey, we don't reek, jerk. Oh, man. This is going to sound crazy, but... Go, Go on. on. Well, I got lost in a cornfield in my monster truck last night. Oh, man. It took me like light of driving in circles to find my way out! Oh, well this is certainly devastating to our theory. It disproves nothing! Look how he's glowing green, for instance! Oh, am I? Oh shoot! Well that's part of the reason it took me so long to get out! My truck sprung a huge antifreeze leak! Antifreeze? That's what the goo puddle was? Oh snap, I got some of that in my mouth! This disproves nothing! Little Apple, surely you saw something strange looking out there, right? Yep, sure did! I think I saw your mom! <laughs> oh! oh man, I wish I could high-five you so bad right now! Come on, Lou. Let's leave these deniers to their denial. Um, guys? Don't look now, but... Flying Saucer! Har har. Make the crazy guys look up because they're so gullible. I was attempting to do air quotes on crazy again, just FYI. No, really! Flying Saucer! Huh? <laughs> Well, I'll be dipped in chocolate sauce. It's nice to be short sometimes. Uh, um, guys, my head hurts. It kind of feels like I. Guys, maybe we should split. <laughs> yeah. Good call! Does no one care that I drink copious amounts of antifreeze? Wow! Now that's a lot of barf. Hey, I did it! I figured out how to whistle! Greetings, fellow freedom lovers. It's your friend from the fringe, Lou the Tick, back from vacation and filled to the brim with deer blood. In the spirit of Shocktober, I've been asked to put together the most atypical listicle ever. So throw at your fluoride, strap on your tinfoil hats, and prepare yourself for the panorama of paranoia we call Lou the Tick's top five things to be rationally afraid of. Number five, self-driving cars. Think about it now. Where will you run when the robots run all the cars? Oh, excuse me, car? Well, I think you may have missed my street. No, Dave. I'm sure I didn't. Uh, don't you think you're driving a little fast? Calm down, Dave. You should have a stress pill. Or maybe enjoy some easy listening. Look at this pickle job! Wha no! That's Pickleback! I hate Pickleback! Ha <laughs> ha. That's so funny, Dave. Why is that funny? Because I hate you, Dave. <laughs> Dave 
Number four, ancient evil cults with awful fashion sense. We offer this fatty sacrifice to our dark lord, the most evil of all artificial fabrics. All hail satin! Tremble before my shininess in fear! <laughs> Guys, I said no candles! Ah! Aww. Number three! Carbon monoxide! Hey, do you, you know, smell something? Hmm, like something, I don't know, odorless and tasteless and colorless? Yeah! Nope. Huh. Me neither. <laughs> now what's really scary? That fear is not irrational at all. So here's an all new number three. Killer bees! Hey, do you hear a weird, like, ominous buzzing sound? You mean like wing death creeping ever closer? Yeah. Mm, nope. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> number two. Every aspect of our lives is tightly controlled by a shadowy conspiracy known simply as the New Squirrel Order. And by the end of next quarter, we shall control 98% of the world's nut supply. Excuse me. Huh? What? Gary, were you eating the big table again? No. Gary? Well, maybe a little, but... Gary! What? It's solid walnut. <sighs> and the number one thing to be irrationally afraid of, GMOs, otherwise known as genetically monstrified organisms. Hey, Carl, can you do me a solid? Yeah, Keith, what is it? Um, is this normal? Aw, oh, dude, that's nothing. I've got a nipple on my back. Dude, dude. Hey, I didn't freak out on you. I'm sorry, but that is just really freaky. Ugh. I'm out of here. Huh, well, at least I didn't tell him about my gills. Well, that's about all the fear we have time for today. So until next time, this is Lou the Tick, wishing you the shockingest of Shocktobers yet. Oh! Yeah, now, I knew I should have worried about the flying saucers. Ah, the truth is still out there. Oh. What's the rush? Yeah, why all the pep in your step? <laughs> Don't you know the end of days is upon us? Why aren't you packed? You've got to get to your bunker if you're gonna survive. Bunker? We don't have a bunker. Then you are doomed. The first omen of the prophecy is already upon us. Warren, uh, you gotta get into that bunker. <laughs> uh, okay, fine. You guys can come in. Just no more bad jokes, okay? No promises. We have some new friends. Bunker Buddies. I've always wanted Bunker Buddies. <laughs> bunker Buddies. Yo, stop saying Bunker Buddies. Bunker Bubbies. Stop saying Bunker Bubbies, too. <laughs> Bubbies isn't a word, silly. <laughs> Enough! If our friends wish to stay with us, they must learn of the prophecy. The prophecy! prophecy. Um, okay. <clears throat> it says here, the end of days shall be preceded by darkness and wind. Yeah, doesn't every day end with darkness? It's called night. Yeah, and isn't there wind passing through the kitchen every day too? It's called... <laughs> Do not mock the prophecy. The prophecy. the prophecy! The prophecy! The prophecy! Okay, that's enough. The prophecy! The prophecy! The prophecy! The prophecy. Hey, hey! Then stop saying the prophecy! The prophecy! The prophecy. Ah. <laughs> My word, it's you! You're the annoyer! The annoyer! Okay, what is the deal with this? Is there like a list of phrases that must be repeated? Must, must be, be repeated. repeated! Silence, everyone! The third omen speaks of a bright and spherical being, one whose annoyance is unmatched. And this annoyer shall proceed the fourth omen! <laughs> the fourth omen? What's the fourth omen? The end of the entire kitchen! And what's the fifth omen? You doofus, there's literally nothing after the end of the kitchen. Gah, you are so annoying! Oh, I suppose that's precisely the- Point? Yes, the point! No! Point! Huh? Ah! 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 Well, 
do you explain that, huh? We all survived. I, well, I guess it wasn't the end of the kitchen after all. Perhaps I misinterpreted the prophecy. The prophecy! For goodness sake, stop saying the prophecy! The prophecy? The prophecy. The prophecy! The prophecy. Oh, great. The pro Looks like they're the in a prophecy, prophecy loop the again. Prophecy. We should get out of here. Prophecy. This'll be a while. The prophecy! The prophecy? The prophecy! The prophecy! The prophecy!